Got this uh, new app on my phone where I can use both cameras at one time. Turn these noisy things off real quick. Shut mine off, shut my uncle's truck off back here. Man, we got a good rain. Today's Sunday. I'm not even sure on what the date is. Shut his off for a minute so y'all can hear. Thought I'd try this new camera out right quick. Or new, not new camera, new app on my phone where it allows you to shoot from both both cameras at one time, the forward facing and the rear facing. Got this from my buddy uh, Skateboard K. The audio is called a dual gram. Find it in the app store. Uh, today, I had to come down here and uh, finish up a little work we got a county job tomorrow which we probably ain't gonna do now that it man i bet we got three or four inches of rain in about an hour a little bit of hail we needed the rain though we've been bone dry here for months um some of y'all keep up with me on uh, social media know that uh i had i rebuilt my rear end my number one driver on uh, la flama blanca up there on uh, how was it tuesday wednesday and then thursday friday uh i had to pull the transmission out of my uncle's truck here oh la roja or clifford big red whatever you want to call her uh pulled the transmission out. i had to do a clutch job put a new 2050 eaton fuller clutch in it got it all put back together and uh to do a little walk around here while i'm talking got it put all back together and uh clutch was slipping a little bit still so i came back down here today did some more adjusting on it uh, but these clutches they will slip a little bit when you first put them in you got a little break-in period but did some adjusting on it went and took it around for a drive again and uh we got her i think we got her adjusted pretty good um speedometer wasn't working I found a broken wire. I guess it got snagged whenever we were pulling the transmission out. But I uh, got it fixed. Uh, it wasn't necessarily just the broken wires. The, the harness, the pigtail going into the actual speed sensor on the tail shaft of the transmission was acting up. See that lightning? <laughs> uh, was uh, acting up. So I ordered a new uh, speed sensor for it and a new uh, pigtail. So it should be here tomorrow or Tuesday. I can't remember what date our guy comes through here. We're a small town, so our parts guy comes out of Amarillo, which is about 80 miles away. Uh, it's thundering. Gods are talking. The gods are talking. So, but yeah. But I did do some uh, finagling with that pigtail and uh, the sensor, and I, I got, I actually got the speedometer to working, but it's, it's not going to be, it's not where it's supposed to be. So, um, La Flama Blanca. I finally got me some new quarter fenders, y'all. Boss man finally picked, picked me up some new quarter fenders. Pretty nice uh, Hodge built uh, knockoffs. This is a uh, this is the side that I uh, no I lost the other side. I lost my passenger side. So I hold up my phone, put my hand, see where I'm going to put it at. Uh, while I had it, while I had it in the shop working on it, doing that rear end. Put these on. I put I actually put these on today. So, so got two new quarter fenders. Uh, did a little changing up on my lights back here, y'all. Paid attention to some of my videos. You might notice I had the Peterbilt buckets here and one here. And uh, I took those off. The harnesses going to them were wore out, and I was having problems on this side with the harness shorting out and uh, everything not working right on that side sometimes the running lights would work sometimes they wouldn't sometimes the four ways or turn signal would work sometimes they wouldn't uh so i did away with those and uh, uh actually uh cut me some new holes in my light bar here and put in some reverse lights which i did a quick video showing demonstrating all the lights working earlier uh being this video too probably 
so got my had to put a new reverse switch in the top of my transmission and run a new wire back here for those reverse lights to work but i got them to where they'll work right without having them on a switch so they're good and then i went ahead and wired up this light bar to my work lights there up there on uh each corner of the cab up there see there see those right there so i wired it up wired it up to there and man that sucker is bright and you think when the trailer comes up over here to hook up i'll have plenty of light underneath my trailer to be able to see what's going on ro rolling up the landing gear we got peanut season coming soon and uh be picking up a bunch of old trailers and stuff from the field and i think that'll help out a lot and plus it felt filled that gap up right there where them lights used to be um we got this big hitch on here and uh I'd like to do a light bar like was back there on my uncle's truck, but we need this hitch on here. Sometimes we gotta move a module builder or something that has a hitch like that. And uh, we gotta go pick it up out of the field or something. So we gotta leave that hitch on there. I'll make fun of my little uh, baby clevis there. It's just, it's just there for looks. So um, about the only thing I know La Flama Blanca here needs is over here on the passenger side see this it need to fix a lot here i need to change that one out sometimes it's got some leds missing on it but uh right over here my my red led in here is not working and i know it's a ground issue i just got to take everything apart and my leds on the back side i'm not sure what's going on here I, it's not the ground they're tied together but if you look right i don't know i have my glasses on y'all but i got a wiring problem there i gotta get fixed and i do have one marker light there that's out or chicken light there that is out i need to uh i'd like to get rid of these uh stainless brackets here and put some them ones they're about twice as thick and paint them red and i uh, just get rid of those uh those amber chicken lights but that's about all I got left to do to La Flama Blanca right now is get those lights fixed and hell she'll be in, she'll be back in tip top action to hope just hope that my first time redoing the rear end I hope it holds together you know I hope it does I hope it does it might not but it might it might as well so I look back there got my little light under my sleeper under my bunk got my red lights up high uh red lights down low um, i need to get some leds for my dash that's another thing i need to do but other than that miss 806 is over here in the pickup she's been down here with me to helping me out today uh she's over there waiting on me i'm sure she's getting hungry because i know i am uh we'll shut everything down here and uh hell we'll catch you on a little bit or on the next video uh, I might even I might just make a little quick video out of this. Let me know what y'all think about this split screen. Is that pretty cool? I can see how I can do this. Um, I'm thinking I can put it up here like this on my windshield. I'm flip, I have to flip it over. It's upside down right now where you won't see uh, you won't see the the holder uh, suction cup on there. But man, that really going to that really times it up really good instead of having my GoPro. And, and and what i what i really want to try is some some three-way film going on with this both cameras and my gopro all timed up like my gopro outside on a trailer somewhere and then one looking in at me and one looking forward i think that'd be pretty cool i ain't, I ain't seen nobody do that on youtube yet have some three-way three-way film going all at once so might be a little tricky but hell i'm i'm up for a challenge i'll try it out so anyway um get out of here y'all go get something to eat 806 driver bnb trucking like i always say keep the shiny side up and the hammer down and we'll catch you next six time. foot three 230 pound quarterback urano luna and the memphis cyclones they will be utilizing their power and size on the field this season last year the cyclones they had their troubles but head coach david urado says this year's team has a lot of potential we had lots and lots of injuries you know uh, at one time we looked up and we had six starters out you know so uh, fortunately most of those guys are back you know so they're they're, they're excited to be back hopefully uh, everything will go well this senior class is a 
great kids. They work really hard, and uh, you know we're excited to see what they can do. That feels great. You know, you, you got that like mentality to go out there again. You know, senior season, yeah. yeah. got to do something. This year, I think that we stay together, come together, and really be a team. I think we can change things and have a better season than we did last year.